blood carbs, salt, and alcohol by taking this advice. We all know that too much sugar, bread, and alcohol can have some nasty side effects. But did you know that there are simple ways to block those side effects? Well, here's how. Have you downloaded the SugarMD app yet? If not, you are missing out on some great resources for managing your diabetes. Our team of experts offer free coaching via app texting so you can get answers to all of your diet and diabetes related questions. Plus, using the app daily will help you stay on track and help make healthy choices. So, download the app today. Start living your best life. Remember to subscribe to our newsletter for weekly educational emails as well. If you are looking to block the sugar, there are a few things you can do. Well, best is not to consume them in the first place, right? But hey, we are all human, right? And we make mistakes. You might be wondering how to reverse at least some of the bad side effects of carbs and sugar, the bread, the alcohol, the salt. First, consume fiber. This will help to slow down the absorption of sugar into your bloodstream. Second, consume potassium. This will help to regulate blood sugar levels and prevent the blood sugar spikes, even help your blood pressure. Third, consume vitamin B1. This vitamin helps to metabolize sugar and prevent it from being stored as fat. Fourth, take benfotiamine. Benfotiamine supports an enzyme that helps to break down sugar and prevent it from damaging the blood vessels. Fifth, take alpha lipoic acid. This is an antioxidant that helps to protect cells from damage caused by sugar. Check out SugarMD Neuropathy Support that has benfotiamine, alpha lipoic acid, and other vitamins such as B12 and B6 and vitamin D. If you're taking metformin, you might want to especially stock up on the B12. That's because metformin can cause a deficiency of this important vitamin. Vitamin B12 is really essential for the proper function of the nervous system and the production of red blood cells. And of course, a deficiency will lead to fatigue, you know, weakness at least, and even depression. So if you are taking metformin, you need to make sure you get enough vitamin B12. You can get it from the food sources like meat and milk and, and so forth, or you can take in a supplement. Either way, don't let a look of vitamin B12 give you the blues. Sixth, exercise. Exercise helps to burn the sugar and prevent it from being stored. Seventh, apple cider vinegar. Mix with water. This helps to regulate the blood sugar levels and keep them from spiking. Number eight, consume cinnamon, but only Ceylon cinnamon. This type of cinnamon has been shown to be more effective at regulating blood sugar levels than other types of cinnamon. And the ninth, take berberine, or even better, dehydroberberine, for better efficacy and superior results. For those who do not like metformin or do not want to take it, I suggest to look into berberine. Berberine is a carb blocker that is actually extracted from plants itself, the berberine. It is a very highly potent compound, as many studies have proven that it has a wide variety of benefits as well. I would say out of all the different carb blockers, the most effective one is berberine. It can help you lose weight, lower your blood sugar levels, and improve your cholesterol levels as well. It's also been shown to be effective in preventing certain types of cancers too. So if you didn't yet, check out our Sugar MD Super Berberine for concentrated Ceylon cinnamon that is equal to 4 grams of Ceylon cinnamon and dehydroberberine, which is the highest concentration in the market. So that's going to give you the best outcomes and the least side effects from a trusted source. Number 10, add more fat to your meal. Fat actually helps to slow down the absorption of sugar into your bloodstream and prevents the spikes in blood sugar levels. Finally, do fasting. Fasting helps to burn off sugar and prevent it from being stored as fat or just burn it off, right? So there you have it. A few things you can do to block the sugar. Now, 
The theory is that the vinegar helps to block the body's absorption of carbs, preventing them from turning into unwanted belly fat is real. There's a lot of evidence to support this claim. In a study, in one of the studies, participants who took apple cider vinegar before eating bread had lower blood sugar levels than those who did not. However, it's important to note that apple cider vinegar, even the sugar MD apple cider vinegar, is not a miracle for weight loss or it's not a cure. It is still essential to eat a healthy diet and get plenty of exercise if you want to see lasting results. If you're looking to give your weight loss a boost, adding apple cider vinegar to your daily routine, maybe a worth try or worth trying. Who knows? You might just find that it actually helps you reach your goals sooner than you thought possible. Again, check out Sugar MD apple cider vinegar gummies. I take them, they're pretty tasty, and I think you will like them too. If you drink alcohol, even socially, you should take vitamin B1. That's right. Put down that red wine and grab a bottle of B1 supplements. You might be thinking, but I don't have a drinking problem. I drink occasionally. Why do I need B1? Well, alcohol depletes the body's B1 stores, and without it, you can suffer from neurological problems, fatigue, and even memory loss. So if you want to avoid having to ask your friends to repeat themselves or struggling to remember where you left your keys, which happens to me sometimes, make sure you take your B1. And while you're at it, you might as well take some electrolytes and drink plenty of water because alcohol dehydrates you. So it's important to replace those fluids, right? And how about a milk thistle? Um, I'm sure you will ask me about this today. Well. Alcohol affects your liver, right? It's, it actually puts a toll on your liver quite a bit. Well, milk thistle helps protect it from the damage. So next time you reach for a drink, don't forget your B1, okay? Your body will say, thank you. If you are trying to quit salt, that's the next one. You might be feeling a little down in the dumps. After all, giving up that salty snacks can be hard work, but don't worry. There are ways to make the transition easier on your body. For example, you can take potassium supplements or eat foods that are high in potassium. This will help to offset the negative effects of high sodium levels in your body. And leafy greens are a great source of potassium, so make sure to include them in your diet. Is that good enough? I think you heard enough, right? Thank you so much for taking time to watch my presentation. I really appreciate that. I hope you learned something from it today, and I hope you will use what you learned today in your everyday life. If you have any questions or comments, please free to post them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them as much as I can. Thanks again. Have a healthy and happy day. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it, and if you did, Watch this video right there, I think that will help you too.